I have a new toy. I mean, not the bike, but something that will allow me to travel around the world next year when I'm going to be racing internationally in other countries than Poland. So I'm going to show you from the end till the beginning, actually, how this Saikon bag, this is the Aero Comfort Road 3.0 TSA bag, uh, works. There are a couple of things uh, which is good to know additionally to the manual they have on the website. So let's see the features and how the bike fits in because I do like it. Important info at the beginning. This is not a bike case. This is a bag. That means a little bit, not a little bit, less protection than the case, uh, but much less weight as well. Uh, this is the Aero Comfort Road 3.0 TSA, uh, which means this is uh, designed for the road bikes. But there is also the MTB uh, version, if you will. Another thing you should know is that the bike here uh, is only with the removed wheels. The, the handlebars, everything is on the bike. You don't even um, remove the, the handlebars or the stem. It just stays like it is. The handlebars uh, are here. It's quite light and packing your bike when you already know how to do it will take you about eight minutes. This is awesome. This is the Saikon bag, uh, which is going to protect the frame. The frame is going to get in here. The wheels separately on both sides on the bike. Then there is some back with the accessories. And also this is the back for my accessories when I travel. And it's got the wheels here. So I'm not gonna have to carry the bike all the time. Let's see how it works. Let's see the manual. It's quite easy. I'm gonna remove the wheels from the bike, put the bike on this construction here uh, and uh, use the quick releases or the through axle to lock it in, secure it, uh, then put the wheels inside the, the back, secure the frame, the saddle, the handlebars uh, and then just lock it and go. We'll see. Let's see what's inside here. Mm -hmm. uh, the frame protection. The lock. The quick releases and some mount. Ah, this is uh, for the frame. Uh, this is the rear derailleur protection. For the saddle. And this is comfy for carrying the whole package, but remove before flight. The other one. And I need to mount this one. This one, this is the anchor. It has to go in and then go like this. I'm gonna use uh, the two millimeter Allen key in order to make it happen. Okay, I'm going to remove the quick release adapters because I'm using the through axles. Let's do it. The bag and the bike. Let's remove the wheels. My through axle doesn't fit. My bike is secure. This is the gravel bike. The front through axle doesn't fit. It's, it's too thick. So I just used the quick release, which came with this back and at the rear. I had to change the gear from the largest to the smaller chainring at the front because um, the, the cage of the rear derailleur would lie down on the bottom of the, of the back. So it has to be on the smaller chainring in my case. Now the accessory bag.
the frame and the saddle protection. Wow! This is how it looks like. The back is made of quite thick materials with additional padding uh, for the wheels and very robust protection uh, where the hubs are and your disc brakes perhaps. Uh, there is also some really nice padding here when you want to carry your bike but, but uh, the whole uh, back will just ride on its wheels where you have uh, good, good uh, ground for it. Mm, and there is also additional padding in the handlebar area which you can move around. This is of course the bag for somebody who's traveling with the bike regularly. If you do it like once a year I still recommend a simple and much cheaper way of putting your bike and protecting it uh, within a box. I have a tutorial on that. Another thing which is well thought out uh, on this uh, bag is the lock. The lock is T this is the TSA padlock so as it says here it allows airport screeners to unlock, inspect and relock back without damaging the lock or breaking the zips, which is a cool thing. You've got your code here and there is also uh, a special lock for, for uh, those uh, services on the airport. They have some kind of a key which will open it up. Cool. Flight tag. So this is the place where uh, it will be put on. Nice, nice thing also to, to have on this bag. And here is our name, address, city and so. So if uh, it get lost somehow it will be sent to our address and this won't be lost. It is always with your bag hidden here. Cool thing. This one will be very easy to carry as it has many different options of uh, pulling it and, and carrying it. It also has nice pocket right here. Here are the wheels, you can uh, pull, you can push the back, uh, also it, it will also go sideways as this uh, spin around and this is hard material, so there will be plastic and metal inside, it's uh, strong, so from the bottom the bike has really solid protection. It's time to open it. First the code, you can set the code for yourself. This is how it looks like. First thought, uh, on the tutorial of uh, Saikon they don't guide these uh, tapes through these eyelets. Uh, 
uh, but these are there. So uh, what I would recommend that you zip a little bit in and then take those walls together and then tighten this up. It will be all more stiff and better protected, I think. This bag in here is quite large, so it will easily fit in uh, the shoes or the, the helmet, perhaps both even. It goes like this right here. So it's fine, it's fine, it, it looks okay. Uh, now the pedals. Uh, on Cycon Tutorial, uh, they, um, they fit the bike with the pedals into the bag, and it's okay, you can do it but the pedals will be at the height of the spokes of your wheel. So uh, for the back itself it is okay, but if the back will be hit at this point, the pedal will hit uh, the spokes, if you have carbon wheels or whatever. I would remove the pedals anyway, I would remove the pedals and put the pedals into the back. You don't have to do it, they didn't do it on their tutorial, I would do it. The through axles and bikes compatibility, uh, this is the road bike, the road uh, bag. This one, the bike I have, is a gravel bike, they can be longer. For example, my Merida Silex doesn't fit, it's too long. This one, uh, Rose back road, is okay, it fits in. Uh, as for the through axles, it's got very thick 15 mm through axle at the front, which is not compatible with this system. It will take 12 mm uh, through axles, not 15. But I just used the quick release, which is um, uh, a part of this, uh, of this back. It comes with the back, so it's no problem. For the quick releases, I didn't put it here. You just put inside these adapters and it works fine. As for the rear through axle, no problem. One more word about the adapters. Those uh, go inside like this and it says here uh, on the manual, click, lock and go and watch the instruction video on cyconbags.com. Uh, there is no instruction on how to remove these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, give you one tip. Uh, when you remove it, try to do it like that. So spin it a little bit, otherwise you can damage this little rubber here, this o-ring, and it will be difficult. It's already damaged a little bit. And it might be difficult to, to remove one. So just like that. You can also use some, some pliers for that, for removal. The wheels. Uh, these are gravel wheels with um, wider and uh, higher uh, tire than the road one. Uh, you de deflate those for the transport, uh, but it would fit in here with the air inside if you want it. Otherwise, this is a cool stuff for a pro or half pro athlete, somebody who's traveling quite often with the bike, uh, by the airplanes. I do like it and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take part in some time trial race in maybe Germany on some other country so we'll see and the weight on my uh, scale is 9.5 kilograms with all the equipment all the stuff inside and for storing this bag we do this What do I think about this product? It is high quality, looking awesome and very well thought out. It's got many features. You should also measure your bike and put the measurements three different dimensions on their website in order to check out whether your bike will fit. You should have no problems with, with any road bike, pretty much. But gravel bikes are different. So my Merida Salix doesn't fit, this Rosé does fit. Just check it out, it is very easy. Uh, simply on the description of this product you will have that uh, calculator uh, and make sure you know all the tricks I have mentioned in my tutorial which are not mentioned on there. That's it. Uh, if your bike is not very expensive don't buy it. If you don't travel very often don't buy it. If you are pro, half pro and you fly with your bike pretty often also when you put your bike in between other bikes in your club, car this bag will be very handy.
guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum.sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. Achoo!